In this video, we will count down the top 10 richest emperors of all time. Starting off at number 10 is William the Conqueror. When you have the word conqueror in your name, chances are you're going to have a few assets. William the Conqueror was born around 1028 and went on to become the first Norman King of England. His estimated fortune reached around $230 billion. So how did he amass such wealth? Well, he earned his fortune by pillaging pretty much everyone he conquered. The conquest of England in 1066 saw the loss of around 100,000 lives. During his wealthy reign, he had over 500 castles built across England and Wales, and he became one of the largest landowners in England of all time. He was known to eat well and wear fine clothes, so much so that when he passed in 1080, his clothes and jewelry were immediately stripped from his body, leaving him naked. Number nine is Julius Caesar. He was considered to be one of the wealthiest individuals in ancient Rome. He gained his wealth through various means, including military conquests, political power, and inheritance. His wealth allowed him to fund his military campaigns and political activities, and he also had extensive land holdings. So, how much money did Julius Caesar have? At his death, Caesar's private fortune was thought to amount to 100 million denarii, which was the equivalent of around $400 billion. At number eight is one of the wealthiest persons in the history of the world that maybe you've never heard of. Mansa Musa, the first emperor of Mali and king of Timbuktu, controlled the Mali Empire and the Ghana Empire and conquered much of West Africa during his reign in the early 1300s. One of his titles was Lord of the Mines. He owned more than half the world's supply of gold. In fact, his empire was the world's largest producer of gold and salt, which were the two most important products at the time. He also controlled key trade routes between the West African coast and the Mediterranean. He built schools, mosques, and even a major university, all of which became his legacy. He's also known for a fabulous pilgrimage he once made to Mecca in a caravan stretching as far as the eye could see with an entourage of tens of thousands of people, giving away and spending so much gold that it caused instant inflation. Unfortunately, his gifts of gold depreciated the value of the metal, and it would take 12 years for the cities of Cairo, Medina, and Mecca to financially recover. At number seven on our list is the biblical legend King Solomon who ruled Israel for 40 years from 370 to 331 BC. King Solomon's riches came from taxation, trade, and tributes. According to historians, King Solomon during his rule is said to have received 25 tons of gold for each of the 39 years of his reign. This, in addition to his income from taxation and trade, makes his net worth over $2.2 trillion. He used his wealth to create many projects, including the first temple in Jerusalem, which is known as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Number sixth on our list is the pharaoh of Egypt, Amenhotep III. He ruled from 1388-1351 BC. During his time in power, Egypt was a global superpower both in military and trade. His reign was a period of unprecedented prosperity, when Egypt reached the peak of its artistic and international power. He inherited from his father Thutmose IV a country with wide borders and an estimated wealth of trillions of dollars, making him the richest man in Egypt. It is estimated that his wealth was between four and six trillion American dollars. At number five on our list is Augustus Caesar. Julius Caesar might be more well-known, but his heir Augustus Caesar was the wealthier one. Of the two men, he is the only one confirmed to be a trillionaire. The Roman emperor controlled vast stretches of land throughout the Roman Empire controlling many states. His personal fortune was equivalent to 20% of the entire empire's economy. Caesar's wealth peaked when he owned Egypt as part of his personal private property. During his period, Egypt contributed 25 to 30 percent of GDP and had some of the best agricultural land. Most experts agree that his fortune hovered around $4.3 trillion. He doubled the size of the Roman Empire. He founded a standing army, police, fire services, a courier system, and roads, effectively bringing Rome into the modern age during his life. His rule assured a 200-year era of peace and prosperity in the empire. Number four on our list is the Indian Emperor Akbar I. From 1556 until 1605, the Indian Emperor ruled over much of the Indian subcontinent all the way into northern Afghanistan, known as the Mughal Empire. 
he controlled around 25% of the world's GDP at the time, which would translate to a staggering $21 trillion today. The Mughals lived in extreme luxury. So impressed were the British by the wealth of the Mughal that the word Mughal entered the English language as a term to describe an all-powerful ruler of industry. At number three on our list is the Chinese emperor Shen Zone. He reigned from 1067 to 1085, which was during an extremely affluent and prosperous era in China. During his reign, farmers were granted the right to own their property. The production of rice skyrocketed and became a staple of the economy, making them a commercial superpower. In addition to this gunpowder, printing and the magnetic compass were invented during this time. The Song Dynasty was able to create the world's first paper money and also formed the world's first navy. The navy allowed them to defend their trade routes, which protected their trading goods. Much of his financial status is attributed to the fact that he formed a tax collection hundreds of years ahead of European governments. With all of this going on, Emperor Shenzhen controlled 30% of the global GDP. GDP. His wealth has been calculated to be around $30 trillion, but it's hard to pin down an exact amount. At number two on our list is Alexander III of Macedon, commonly known as Alexander the Great, who was a king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon. Adjusted for inflation, Alexander is considered the second richest emperor to ever live. He succeeded his father to the throne at the age of 20 and spent most of his ruling years conducting military campaigns throughout Western Asia and Egypt. By the age of 30, he had created one of the largest empires in history, stretching from Greece to northwestern India. He was undefeated in battle and is widely considered to be one of history's greatest and most successful military commanders. At his peak, Alexander the Great conquered and owned over 10 million square miles of land spread across Asia and Europe. If you compare the current market price of this land, the value of land owned by Alexander the Great is estimated to be over $20 trillion. Alexander also conquered mineral-rich lands in Egypt and Iran that had enormous amounts of precious metals. Alexander the Great's net worth, adjusted for the present day, would be around $32 trillion. At the top of the list, with a net worth of around $150 trillion, is Genghis Khan. He owned lands castles, gold, and diamonds that he plundered in India, China, and all the other lands. Between 1206 and 1227, he led his armies on a brutal assault of all of his neighboring kingdoms, winning all of his battles in all he conquered over 12 million square miles of territory, controlling most of Central Asia and China. He usually slaughtered most, if not all, of the local inhabitants of the kingdoms that he conquered and took over all their wealth and possessions, which combined with the value of the land, makes him by far the richest emperor in history. That's our list of the top 10 richest people in ancient history. Do you agree or disagree? Are there any other people that you think should be on our list? 